uh, hello everyone let's today understand what is the difference uh, between decentralization deconcentration delegation and devolution before talking about those terms we need to first understand what is the meaning of centralization when the decision making power responsibility or accountability of any task is consolidated under one head or the main head or the center government then it takes the form of centralization now coming to decentralization when the decision making power or the authority or the ability to act on one's own initiative that is the responsibility and accountability regarding any task is not concentrated at one hand rather it is shared with others other organization or at other level then it is called the decentralization now the question that what is deconcentration what is delegation and devolution still remains after understanding decentralization uh, it will be easier to understand these three terms because uh, these three terms are uh, none other than the three types of decentralization when the degree of authority decision making power responsibility accountability is transferred by the source of power it takes three different forms and those three different forms are deconcentration delegation and devolution now let's understand these three types of decentralization first is the deconcentration uh, the process of deconcentration means that the centers control are relocated and geographically dispersed so the decentralization that is the decision making power accountability responsibility is given only to the extent required and the requirement is because of geographical reason and any other such factor delegation uh, actually means the managerial responsibility for specified functions is given to others and uh, since it is a form of decentralization that is the decision making power accountability responsibility is provided uh, just like it was given in the deconcentration but it is more than which uh, what was given in the deconcentration and less than the devolution uh, though the person who gets the delegated power is responsible and accountable to the source of power still the final responsibility of the task remains with that of the source of power like for example x is the head of the office and uh, he had to make a report maybe by sunday but instead of doing it himself he hires another person to make that report and when the report is presented the entire credit for the report will be given to the person x that is the person who was initially given the task to be performed right so the person who made report cannot uh, take any credit even though he everybody knows that he is the person uh, uh, who who made the report now comes the devolution uh, here uh, the decentralization is a is at a more higher level in the sense that the decision making power the accountability responsibility is transferred from one level of government to another like for example if central government uh, wants the state government to look after uh, a matter which can which can only be handled well by the state government then central government would prefer to uh, devolve the matter devolve the task to the state government instead of delegating it delegation as i mentioned uh, previously that is the responsibility will remain with the source of power now when you are giving the responsibility uh, to the person to whom you are delegating then it takes the form of devolution now let's uh, summarize it so centralization is the concentration of power that is all power regarding decisions 
regarding the accountability regarding the responsibility uh, for a given task is at one head when that concentration of power responsibility and accountability is disturbed or changed it is called decentralization and it takes three different forms that is deconcentration delegation and devolution and if we if we analyze or we can say that the degree to which the power is transferred okay de de uh, determines whether it will be considered as a deconcentration or delegation or devolution so deconcentration is always less than delegation and is delegation is always less than devolution in terms of moving away from center and as we move away from the center then more power more responsibility more accountability has to be given so that the task can be performed rationally if you think see the more you move away from the center means if you're not giving more responsibility means the task will not be fulfilled in the way you you want it to be so it's better to give more responsibility more accountability as we move away from the center i hope uh, this helps you all for more such videos please like subscribe and also you can uh, uh, write me your request uh, regarding any topic which you want me to make video on thank you so much